The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. Being sad and eating and then being more sad and eating more, just that horrible, horrible cycle that I found myself in and it was just not a good place for me. Hear Debbie's story before and after the Eat, Live, Thrive diet. But it was more just the energy and the excitement about life and just the joy uh, kind of came back. I felt like I mm. I came back. I love that too. <laughs> Don't believe the lie that you can't lose weight and be full of energy into your 50s and beyond. Next on Life Today. Walsh here with Randy Robinson, and we have another great show for you today. We're continuing talking about this book, Eat, Live, Thrive. Please, will you help me welcome the authors of the book, Dana and Robin, and also we have a special guest. This welcome will be fun. to all yeah. of you. Yes, and Debbie will. Dunham joins us. Good to have all of you here. Thank you. Thank you. And. Debbie, I, I'm excited that you're here because, you know, the last uh, couple of programs we've been talking to Dana and Robin, and they are sort of the experts, although they've lived all this sort of thing. And by the way, if you missed those programs, you can always go get them on lifetoday.org or our Roku channel, and actually they're on YouTube, so don't miss a program. But they wrote the book. You are living the book right now, <laughs> and that is exciting. What made you want to go... I want to thrive, and I maybe should look at the way I eat and live. Well, um, like some women, I struggled with weight most of my life, uh, and started probably after I had children was more um, mm -hmm. difficult during yeah. that time, yep. and to lose the baby weight. And I used to joke and say, "Well, okay, I'm still, you know, losing the baby weight, but uh, you know, when my child was 12, I couldn't really blame <laughs> it on that anymore." <laughs> so, um, and I'd know Dana for. Um, I think 25 years oh, wow. and we've done some work together and stuff but um, so fast forward to 2017 when I found myself in a uh, separated from a 20-year marriage mm -hmm. and um, very sad and fearful about the future and started that emotional eating that mm -hmm. some people may do and um, found myself in that vicious cycle of, of being sad and eating and then being more sad and eating more, just that horrible, horrible yeah. cycle that I found myself in and it was just not a good place for me. And so I had been seeing Dana and Robin's Facebook um, Academy, the Eat, Live, Thrive Academy, kind of pop up and I thought, you know what, it's time, I just need to do this and um, I needed that hope back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's obviously spiritually based, so that was very important to me, and so I... So how did it start? Well, I think I, I just reached out to Dana and, and Robin, and I said, okay, I'm ready to do something. I, I felt like I, it was time, and that, you know, God was saying it's, it's, it's time. Mm -hmm. So um, I then found out about this boot camp that they were doing. A boot camp? A boot camp. Started a November 4th. Yes. 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 A kind and gentle boot camp. It was a kind. A kind and gentle. Yes. So I joined. I called her up or I texted and said, I'm, I'm coming to the boot camp. And she said, I'm going to be one of your stories. And yes. I said, you can do this, girl. Yes. yes. And so How many days was your boot camp? Just one one morning, really, or half a day. Mm -hmm. But it was to give them an overview of the book so they knew what they were getting into and to issue a 90-day challenge. Mm -hmm. And the challenge was just just do this for 90 days and see what happens. And we're going to coach you every step of the way through the academy, um, you know, the, the online coaching every week. And Debbie said, I'm in. And so she started with phase one. Mm -hmm. So what was phase one like? Phase one was basically taking away uh, sugar and grains. What, and I, when you say grains, do you mean just like rice or bread? Do you mean like well, all? Well, okay. Um, corn. Corn, legumes, uh, wheat, rice. Quinoa, all, all of that. Oh, wow. Yes, so I just cut, all, cut out all of what's, that. What's left? <laughs> Vegetables okay. and fruits okay. and meats okay. and fish. So plenty of good stuff. Plenty of really good yeah. stuff. Um, so I did that for 14 days. How did you feel? Well, I felt amazing. I'd had a lot of aches, especially this knee. I have a torn meniscus. And I did it too. like went away. 
Wow. Yes, I promise you, it did. In, in, thir in three months, it, now, it's... Was that an inflammation thing? It was or inflammation. Or were you losing weight? And yes, less... it was both. Okay. I think it was a combination yeah. of um, the inflammation. Interesting. And then I dropped about 25 pounds. In 90 days. Yeah. Wow. 90 days. And, and what about some of the recipes that helped you get through? Because sometimes I think people worry in elimination. Can I make it without any grains? What were some of the things that well, worked for you? There were a couple things. Uh, the pumpkin pancakes were Ooh, amazing. Yummy. They were made, made with coconut flour and eggs and stevia. And pumpkin. Pumpkin, yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> the mystery <laughs> ingredient. <Yes. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and so that helped me. And then, um, of course, I love the eggs and you know all the veggies that go in the scramble. But then the other recipe was the lemon muffins that also have coconut flour in them and lemon zest and eggs. And coconut flour? Oh yeah, I actually have got Is coconut flour. I've never used it, but I've got it. <laughs> oh really? Ah, it's very good. Well now you've got some recipes I to know. put that together. Yes. <laughs> and then a lot of the the chicken and um, vegetable recipes with a lot of really good spices. Um, it was never boring. I mean I'm still doing it because it really it's not a diet and it's a lifestyle. And you're you're just getting back to clean eating unprocessed foods and really focusing on that. And it, I don't feel deprived. Wow. Did you have that first three days that I always have on some kind of diet where you kind of get headachy and you want to strangle the neighbor's cat? <laughs> don't write to me, I love cats. <laughs> um, probably not. I really? think I didn't. Um, I hadn't eaten, I had been eating kind of healthy even before then, but when I cut out everything, it was, I just felt really good. Wow. I felt more energy. Can I mention yes. that she did that through the holidays? She did that through oh, wow. Thanksgiving and through the Christmas season. Wow. So most people are saying that's not the time that they want to do it, right. but she had the mindset to make these changes and look at her. Okay, so wow. you mentioned that, that you had some, a very difficult time personally mm -hmm. in addition to the weight. You started working on the weight. How did that affect your outlook on your personal situation? Well, part of the program is the healthy self-talk. Mm -hmm. And that involves scripture and telling yourself the truth instead of believing the lies that Satan would like you to believe about just, you know, the shame and all that that goes with, with loss. So it was, it was not just a, a diet plan. No. It was a whole changing your thinking, as, yes. the, as you say in the book kind of plan and, and how do you feel today? How long how long has that been? By it's the way? been uh, since three, I've, four months? Yes, pr almost four months. Yeah. Uh, so you're not too far past the 90 days as we sit here today. Right, right. And how do you feel? Well, I feel um, just hopeful. That's a great That's beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. um, like I have this new lease. Sorry, I get a little touched, but I, I just feel like God's really just used them in the whole program. Sorry. No, you do <laughs> not be sorry. That's beautiful. Uh, uh, to just bring hope and help. What was one of the lies that you believe that you started to work on as you were going through it, that you were um, deciding, I'm not going to tell myself that anymore? Because that's what we, we try to tell women. You know, hear yourself telling yourself these things and just say, stop it, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Call it out for what it is, that's a lie. Well, comparison. I think comparison oh, yeah. is the thief of joy. And Absolutely. I had to tell myself, I'm not going to do that anymore because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. I can be healthy. I don't have to be a stick to be loved and accepted and forgiven and, you know, just flourish in life. So that was probably a big one for me. I think of like what it says one. in Psalm 34, those who look to him will be radiant with joy. Mm -hmm. No shadow of shame will touch their faces. Mm -hmm. Have you, how did it impact like your friends and those around you? Were they aware of a big change in you? I think so. I mean, they saw, you know, the weight loss, but it was more just the energy and the excitement about life and the, um, just the joy uh, kind of came back. I felt like I Mm. I came back. <laughs> oh, that's huge. If, you, if some of you right now are going, I need that joy, I need that hope, I need that excitement, pick up the phone and call us. We want to send this to you. We want you to help us, and we'll tell you about that later. But I want you to know you, you can get this, this book, because it's not just a book. It's, it's not just a plan. It's not just a diet. It's a whole new way of thinking, and it's, and like she says, hope. So where do you where do you go from here? I mean, this kind of thing you got to hang on to your diet for another thirty days, or are you? No, good this to is go? a lifestyle. It's really isn't a diet. I, I said it earlier. It's it's more just learning to what 
foods you're sensitive to or insensitive to and just kind of working that plan. And it's a 90-10, they talk about that in their book. It's not, I, like I can never, I can't ever have sugar again. No, it's yeah. not that I like, you know, dark chocolate. And go ahead, you interject here. No, what I want to <laughs> say is, in fact, we're doing a little personal coaching with Debbie and we're encouraging her to eat a little more. I mean, she feels so good and she's so satisfied and she wants, she has a goal to lose maybe another 15 pounds or so. And we're evaluating and going, you know what, Debbie, you can eat a little more because we talk a little bit about plateaus and helping. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, weight loss is not this downhill thing. It's this thing. And we're realizing that she's just become so good and transformed in her habits that she can actually eat a little bit more and find ways to notch up muscle mass a little bit. So it's developing that lifestyle, um, just notching it up mm -hmm. one month at a time. And Randy suggested I eat more mashed potatoes because he really likes mashed potatoes, right? <laughs> Oh. Get thee behind me, Randy. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, no, that's funny that you say that. I, I, have, I have my own special diet that I did through the holidays as well. It was a crash diet where I, I was in an accident, and oh, I, I still can't right. feel all my teeth right now. Oh, no. And so oh, I, I, I used to never eat mashed potatoes, oh. never, and now I've had more in the last few months. But I don't recommend that diet. Get their book and do it this way. It's much more fun and much healthier. I think is interesting about this. I'm thinking of somebody who thinks, well, I really don't have to lose a lot of weight. I just don't feel that great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this book for them it as is. well? It is. It is so far beyond weight loss. If you need to lose weight, it will. You will naturally because when you eat to to nourish your body. But I think it's more about the health and wellness and vitality and prevention of disease and being able to live out your purpose, because we live in these physical vehicles. This is the only vehicle we have for this life on earth. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm not driving the car I drove at 17 years old, but I'm still wearing the same body. And so it really is about nourishing your body well. And then the weight loss will naturally follow. Uh, it's, it's doing the right things for the right reasons and trusting God with the results. You've said something really good uh, on one of the previous programs. Food, our diet, it can be the cause of our problems, but it can also be the cure. Yes. So you're suggesting that you've got foods that will actually give us the energy. Well, he does. <laughs> That's true. God That's has true. created everything that we need and the foods that we need. We've corrupted them. And, you know, Robin and I are not purists. We have our own uh, share of little 10% uh, that, but he has. He's created food that will heal and food that will... Um, correct and you know our bodies are, are these wonderful adaptable machines that if we give them what they need he's programmed us so that they will flourish no matter what your age and at 66 I'm standing by that <laughs> Amen. I just, I just want to say that I think that when people think of the word diet, what we've thought of in the past, it was kind of like what you were talking about, Sheila. You know, you want to strangle the neighbor's cat. And a lot of people, as they're losing weight and they're on a diet and they're feeling deprived, and a lot of times their energy is very low, they just don't feel great. And it's really hard for them to continue and stay motivated. And I think what happens on our program is when you go on that first phase, which is really only two weeks, and you're eliminating quite a few foods, but you have such a transformation in how you feel. And it, I really think, affects, you know, you're changing your mindset by looking, by renewing the mind, but also the physical chemistry that's changing in your body that energy, that vitality, and the mental outlook, it really just takes you to the whole next level of health. And that will just continue to propel. That's what we see in the people that do our program. They come in vibrant like Debbie. And I mean, we did that boot camp, and I remember when we did the follow-up, there was people walking into the room and I was doing like triple takes, looking at them going, who wow. is that person? Because it's not just about that body transformation, it's vitality that you're seeing. Can you tell us, you told us on one of the other programs about one or two women, but are there any other stories that come to mind that you just think this was amazing? You know who's coming to my mind? One of our younger clients, because we talk about you know this being for women in midlife. Well, she's in her early 40s, uh, Nicole, and she walked in and it was such an obvious transformation transformation, but she said, yeah, we lost 50 pounds. I said, oh, you and your mom, because she was with her. She goes, no, my husband and I, I lost 25, and we were using all the recipes in the book, and he was just going along with me. He lost 25, too. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, this, this is, yes, we wrote it with 
mature, ageless women in mind, but it is changing families, mothers and daughters, sisters. We have stories of mm -hmm. sisters that, um, I think Jeannie in 30 days lost 20 pounds and her sister lost 12, but they came in, their skin glowing. We listened to their testimonies as they were sharing with the new women. Uh, we host these sometimes uh, in San Diego where we live, and they're just excited. And that is the greatest reward for Robin and I, to watch these women just on fire for life because they've accomplished something. I don't think they knew it was as easy as it was. It's really mm -hmm. not hard. It's I so think doable. one of the things that would be really beautiful is when God's daughters begin to really value themselves yes. according to how the father values mm. us. Because I think, you know, sometimes, you know, because we think, well, we're, we don't do this and we don't do that. So our big indulgence is, you know, where two or three are gathered and his name is a casserole in the midst. <laughs> and so often that's just, you know, that's how we end up in. So I think for us to be able to, as you said, to replace the lies. Mm -hmm you know, with the truth of God's word, yeah. to re-wallpaper your mind and your heart and your soul with what scripture says. This is, that's, I think that's why I know I'm going on and on, but that's why I'm so excited about this book because it cares for every single aspect, mm. your body, your soul, your mind, and your spiritual life and your relationships with others. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes when you're overweight, you're kind of cranky. <laughs> just speaking personally. Well, we, do, we, just, <laughs> we don't feel our best. And you know, I think we can, we start kind of inward gazing. And when we start to take good care of ourselves, we start to look up and look out and engage in the world. And that's why I think Robin and I were so excited about writing the book and sharing the message is we want God's girls just to celebrate life together. And it's, it's yes, we talk about the pounds lost and all that, but it's so much more. It's, it's about the vitality and the purpose-driven energy that comes from taking good well, care of yourself. It's not just the purpose-driven energy. You guys have a definite calling on your lives to help to help other other women and, and really men as well, everyone. When did that come about? What, what's kind of driving that whole ministry aspect I of it? I think your... when you come out of bondage, when you have breakthroughs yourself, mm. uh, I, I remember as a young woman, I sat up in bed at 18 years old I woke myself up talking in my sleep and I said, you just eat when you're hungry. I was so mad at myself because I was constantly binging and purging and all that. And I think I thought in my 20s and into my early 30s, I will never, I will always have to fight this thing. I'll always be struggling not to gain weight and to lose weight and to not care what everybody else looks like. And I just worked at it and studied scriptural truth and I think the, the reason the calling is there is God knew I was in bondage and through the journey of applying its principles to my life, both the health principles as well as the biblical and renewing the mind principles. He's like, pass that on, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, pass it on. And mm -hmm. for the last 30 years, he just keeps bringing me back to this subject. And now with Robin, um, you know, we get to share some varied experience and skills. And she can carry the lit, the torch when I when I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be just like Deanna when I grow up. <laughs> I think we all do. We just ask you one final question, Debbie. Has it been hard for you to keep the weight off? No, it hasn't. I I think I've plateaued. I haven't really gained. I've just kind of stayed for the last couple of weeks. But it really hasn't. Even there was a, a I was at some events and I had some things that weren't necessarily in line with the program. And I weighed the next day and I was like, okay, I didn't gain weight. So I think my body has gotten used to mm. the, the healthy, clean eating and it's, it's more of a lifestyle, like I said. So it's, I might have the 10% of off the program, but then I get right back on That's it. It's fantastic. It's, well done you. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Doing great. Great. We want to help you as well. And I hope you'll call and uh, pick up Eat, Live, Thrive. It was for freedom that Christ set us free, one of my favorite scriptures. And we want to help set you free from the bondage of poor diets and, and overeating and all, all those kinds of issues. But Sheila, you know, there's another kind of bondage mm -hmm. where we can really go in and set some people free. Yeah, and I had the privilege of seeing just exactly what we can do recently. And Randy and I would love you just to take a look at this. Every time I see a little girl, hello. How are you? Big smile. <laughs> like that. I just wonder what her future is. When we began bringing you the stories of girls trapped in human trafficking over a decade ago, you responded in a big way. 
Through the work of Rescue Life, we began to shine God's light in the very darkest places on earth. And when that light appeared, the evil ones scattered like cockroaches back into the crevices and corners they came from. But they never stopped their terrible crimes. There's too much money involved. Instead, they've continued underground. Because the traffickers have been chased out of committing their crimes in the open, there is fresh fear among the girls to speak with us. Many don't want their faces shown because they're scared for their families if someone finds out they're helping end this industry. But I want you to know that these girls, even the ones we can't show, they are real. Their pain is real. Our tears have fallen together on the same floor as they've told me over and over that they want freedom, but they don't know how. Well, we know how. Our partners all over the world are reaching these girls, in many cases preventing trafficking altogether through education and border intervention. We're rescuing them through investigations and SWAT raids, and we're restoring them through safe houses and skills training so they can have a life and an income when they leave our care. It's ironic that our success has made our work more difficult, but we will not be stopped not until the last girl is freed. We need your help today more than ever. We need you to speak up for these precious ones who cannot speak for themselves. They're waiting and hoping for rescue. We can't let them hope in vain. You know, Randy, it's hard to even, it's hard to even put into words uh, what it's like. And that, the last trip that we, that we took, um, they're so, they were so young. The girls were so little. They were like your, your daughter or your niece. I mean, they were just little girls, nine, 10, 11 years old. And I remember going back to, or we were staying in a little hotel, and I remember going back and closing the door and literally laying down on the carp and sobbing. Mm. I just felt so overwhelmed and so helpless. But you know, after I'd cried for a while, I really felt the Lord say, Sheila, get up. You get up and you dry your face and you come up with a plan. You know, the, we have some amazing people at Life today that partner with us in these countries. And to be able to say, listen, how can we help you? Um, the people that are working at the moment with us in Southeast Asia, they're phenomenal. They will drive. We went with them, I mean, mile after mile into the worst kind of areas with the trucks to get to little remote villages because that's where the traffickers go. Because yeah. these little girls have never heard of trafficking. And they'll try, they'll get them, they'll say, we'll get you a job, you can take money back to your parents. And then they're given a meal, the meal is drugged, they wake up beside some older man, and then they're locked. The, the thing that blew me away was he showed me the room where some of these girls are held and there's a lock on the outside. That little girl is shoved into that room, expected to sleep with up to 15 men a night. And this could be my daughter. And we are the body of Christ on the planet at this moment. This is our watch and we have to do something. And we have to do something now, Randy. Yeah, and we have something we can do. Um, you know, you, you can't put a price on, on one of those child's lives. Um, it just, it doesn't work that way. They're all, they're all so valuable and priceless in, in God's eyes. But we, we have to work within financial constraints to do something, and we, we can. What we found is that we spend about an average of $128 to rescue one child. We've got some friends that have offered a matching gift right now, meaning that if you give $64 today, it will be combined with the matching gift, it will be doubled in impact, and, and it will help to save one child. $128 will save two. Some of you could give $1,280, and that will save not just 10 children, but because of the, the doubling of the gift, 20 children. But, you know, again, <laughs> I, I kind of don't like to, to put numbers on lives because it's so much more important than that. It's so much bigger than that. We have to be the arms of Christ and reach into these places. We have the people there. They're doing it right now, but there's more that we need to do. We have to have your support to do it.
And that's essentially what I'm asking for. Will you stand with us? Will you reach with us into these places and rescue these children? We want to help you. If you ask for this book today, whatever gift you give towards Rescue Life, we will send you Eat, Live, Thrive just to help you so you can live longer and healthier and stronger so that you can join us in rescuing even more. Go to the phones. Go online. Give the best gift you can today and know that you will be reaching out and rescuing children. Behind the bright lights, there is a darkness where a world of innocence is lost and abuse runs rampant, scarring the souls of children with no one and nowhere to turn for help. With bodies broken and hopes crushed, these young victims are trapped in a never-ending nightmare. Today, you can shine the light of God's love in this dark world to reach, rescue, and restore these young ones to the life God designed for them to live. With a generous $320,000 matching gift, now your gift of $128 to help rescue a child can be double to help two children. Your $64 gift will be matched to help rescue one child from the horrors of human trafficking. And a $32 mission rescue gift will be doubled to $64. And with your donation of any amount, we'll send you the Promises of Christ gift book filled with beautiful photographs, scriptures, stories, and commentary from James Robison. With your gift of $128 or more, you'll receive the Names of Jesus Throw. This beautifully woven blanket features the names of Jesus in many languages. It'll make a lovely addition to your home and serve as a beautiful reminder and spiritual comfort to the Lordship of our Savior. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,280, which will now help rescue 20 children, and you may request our beautiful new bronze sculpture, Safe in the Shepherd's Arms. Please call, write, or make your gift online. You can help save lives right now. I hope you're going to the phone or going online. Give the best gift you can. And when you do, don't forget, if you want Eat, Live, Thrive, we want to send it to you or any of the wonderful gifts we have. Just ask. We will gladly send it to you. Would you thank Debbie and Robin and Dana for being here on Life Today and sharing some fabulous information on how to eat, live, and thrive. Thank you so much for being with us, and thank you for being with us. Yep, we'll see you next time. God bless. Planning your future, keep their future in mind. Contact Life Planning Services today. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.